There is a fantastic atmosphere at the Oval for the biggest game of the season. The stage set for the Glens to make virtually certain of the title, which had looked an impossible dream when they had 12 points deducted over the infamous Kilmartin affair. This time, the prize for the Glens' victory was a 12-point lead at the top of the table. The fans didn't have long to wait for what turned out to be the only goal of the game. That came in the 19th minute, and it was no real surprise that the scorer was Andy Smith, the Blonde Bombers' 30th goal of the season, and, surprise, surprise, there was that trademark celebration. The Ports had claimed for a penalty turned down in the 30th minute when Gary Hamilton tangled with Paul Lehman. But the Glens thought it was a dive, and referee Leslie Irvine wasn't impressed. Then, just before the break, Vinnie Arkins volleyed wide. It was hectic stuff, and several players fell foul of the ref, understandable perhaps, with so much at stake. Hamilton was among the players booked, but he went closest to equalising to the Ports as they threw caution to the win near the end. But they were unable to beat Elliot Morris. So delight for Glenn's boss Roy Coyle and his players. We knew it was going to be a very hard game for us, you know, and I put it down. A good team, good physical team, you know, and uh, we knew it was going to be a lot of yellow cards and all, you know, but the boys uh, done well today and uh, the passion was there. And uh, another goal for yourself, you're having a great season? Yeah, I got another goal today. I've just uh, dropped nicely for him, I sort of, you know, and I managed to react first and I got a good contact on it, and that's another one, you know, so I'm pleased. I guess they'll always say it's never over till it's over, but with 12 points clear, uh, we'll keep battling away and we'll keep plugging away, but really, uh, Glentorn can only lose it from here. There's still a lot of difficult matches left. We've still got to play Coleraine twice, Limfield twice, and put it in again. There's a lot of points to play for. We've put ourselves in a great position, but you know we've still got a lot of hard work.